One thing I hate about the U.S. team is that they've had players with punchable faces over the years. <laughs> It's more because they're like pretty faces. The intuition is there to kind of hit the player. I think they can be pretty dirty. When they get aggressive, right, they don't expect the U.S. to get aggressive. Ooh, they're always so physical, and I think that's why, like, I'm super into it, because it's just, it's like hockey on grass. The U.S. fans have more of, like, a, an arrogance to them. Cocky. So they use that cockiness and that arrogance to their favor. <laughs> It's just a fun chant to yell out when you're going against Mexico and kind of putting it in their faces. I guess it's at a point where we'd rather beat Mexico 2-0 than 3-0, than just for the memes almost. Playing at uh, some place like the Rose Bowl, you have 90,000 fans, but 85,000 are Mexico fans. Well, I think Mexico has the better fan base, both in Mexico and in the U.S. I feel like Mexico fans are constantly banging their head on the wall because they expect their team to be a much better team than they really are. And Mexico has the worst trolls on earth in social media. These guys are disgusting. When he was playing, one of the things that really annoyed Mexican players was Landon Donovan. <laughs> ripping his shirt off. You either love him or hate him. You know, he's, he's always the hero for the U.S. Whether you're a U.S. fan or a Mexico fan, you either love him or hate him. It's Landon Donovan again. You pastor. Historically, the Mexican player has always been better than the U.S. player. In the mid-90s, the rivalry was starting to pick up and things got heated. And I remember thinking, I'm like, hey man, the gringos are like, taking this serious now. I think we're probably more on the ascent than Mexico, especially when it comes to young players playing in Europe. I feel like the Mexican team is stuck with a certain culture or a way of play, whereas the US, we're, we're actually trying to do something. We're trying to be better, we're trying to evolve. But of course, both teams have to qualify. I'm not gonna name any names. One team was at the last World Cup and one wasn't. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, the trash talking. I gotta tell you, I can't stand him for so many reasons. Yeah, I'm kind of a fan of, of you know, a little bit of trash talk here and there. He's basically calling them out, like, you're, you're short, you're nothing, you're small. Yeah, sure, Mexicans are short or whatever, but don't you ever make, you know, make fun of somebody like that. And then he, like, backs away when, when one of the other Mexico players comes and confronts him. Ooh, I would fight him. Yeah, buddy, get him. The more moments that we have like this in the history of U.S. men's national team versus Mexico rivalries, the better. I think it's good to have this rivalry because it's only going to make both national teams better. Hey, this rivalry only gets better because these teams are getting better. And so that's even better for fans, you know?